In typical cases, we see combination of scalar and vector instruction, mix of important and background tasks. We are going to see how Thread Director helps OS with placement of these threads. In the first example, we have a representation of a typical media content creation usage we see with real-world software. The green threads that you are seeing here are mostly scalar instruction. The dark blue threads that you see are vector instructions, and the light blue are background tasks. The vector instructions, for the most part, get prioritized on performance scores, as they require more performance, while some of the green threads and the light blue thread go to efficient cores. Let's look at one more example, this time with office productivity and background application. Office productivity, video conferencing, CPU AI instruction usage in these cases is increasing consistently. Placement of these AI threads is going to be key to maximize performance. As we have seen with previous example, we have green threads, which are mostly scalar. Then we have the orange AI threads added to the mix, where you can see Thread Director prioritizes them to performance scores. As seen before, the light blue tasks are running on efficient cores. All these threads here in this mix go through various phases within their own execution. You might have noticed there are phases once in a while where the dark blue uh, vector threads or the orange AI thread go to E cores. These are the phases where they have some scalar instructions in them. This is where the dynamic nature of this technology, prioritizing right thread to right core based on current execution context comes in. Lastly, I do want to show something else. I want to show fully multi-threaded synthetic workload running same instruction mix. Here, all threads go use all available core. To enable this level of fine-grained coordination for real performance, Intel jointly worked with Microsoft to incorporate this revolutionary capability into upcoming Windows 11 release.